Five Warriors, it's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to tackle five questions pulled straight from the comment section. And I'm going on another trip, but I want to make sure that I give you guys value each and every week. So no matter what, you will get a video from me on Sunday and Wednesday without fail. I'm actually going to Baltimore for a friend's wedding. Super excited about it because all the friends are going to be together. And it's going to be a pretty cool little mini vacation. So I didn't have time to put together a, an entire full production video with the uh, the studies and the recording and the editing and everything like that but i still want to make sure that i give you guys value thus another intermittent fasting questions answered video i'm going to try to make this video super short i'm going to try to power through these so let's jump into question number one from mariana penzone as she asks what about carb blockers, fat burners, spices like ginger and turmeric? So here's the thing. Basically, carb blockers, what they do is they slow down the breakdown of complex carbohydrates. Carb blockers are made to slow that digestion down, kind of keeps your blood sugar down too. So in effect, you keep your insulin a little bit lower as opposed to having your insulin spike so high. And I'm not 100% sure if in this question you're asking me if you should use that when you're fasting because when you're fasting, there really isn't a point to use that. I would go as far as saying don't use anything to that effect. You don't want to be dependent on something else for your body to be at a certain level. Fat burners completely stay away from fat burners. They have not been proven to work. It is claiming that it can increase your metabolism metabolism and, and increase your fat oxidation, but there's no proof. And there's so many side effects like insomnia, dizziness, vomiting that comes from fat burners. So I would definitely just stay away from that. And that just messes with your hormones anyways. Spices like ginger and turmeric. One ginger root has about nine calories and turmeric, just one tablespoon has about 24 calories. Each of them contain carbs as well. And I would say that those two items, ginger and turmeric, do break your fast. And question number two comes from Akina Zhao. Should I eat carbs before or after exercise when doing intermittent fasting? Now, here's the thing with intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, and this is also um, true with, with the ketogenic diet, when you're truly doing it, when you're going full force with intermittent fasting, there are specific attributes that come with intermittent fasting, which is your body's dependent on itself for energy. The thing is, when you go to the gym and you're used to using carbohydrates as energy, if you don't have carbohydrates in your system and you're not used to not having carbohydrates in your system, you're going to feel sluggish. So the first time that you're doing intermittent fasting, maybe go in with uh, eating or having carbs uh, in your system, but then as you become better in intermittent fasting, you become more fat adapted and your body is more used to using body fat as energy and switching over very easily, then you can start going to the gym and doing strenuous workouts. Thank you for that question, Akina. Now let's move on to the third question. The third question comes from Rosalia Slavaus wrote, and I hope I'm not slaughtering your last name, Sla Slaboyu. Slaboyu. Is it healthy OMAD to do all my life? Please answer me. Thank you. So is OMAD healthy for you to do forever? And yes, all intermittent fasting protocols are uh, set in a way where you can do it for the rest of your life. You can make it a, a lifestyle. And that's the ultimate goal, in my opinion, when it comes to intermittent fasting. People want to use intermittent fasting just to lose weight and then go back to what they're doing. But understand that intermittent fasting is more than just weight loss. It's also health benefits that are attached to intermittent fasting. Question number three comes comes from Tier Non Healy and Tier Non Healy asks, will I still experience any of the health benefits like heightened autophagy on OMAD slash warrior diet if I'm in a calorie surplus, I'm trying to gain muscle. Yes, you can have autophagy. Understand that autophagy is activated and moving and it's increasing the longer you're fasting and the heightened autophagy actually comes from a more prolonged fasting. But the calorie surplus in and of itself doesn't actually determine uh, the autophagy. It's the state of malnutrition or just not consuming 
anything or any energy in which your cells instead of working to move throughout your body to digest food so since it's not doing that it starts working on itself it starts eating all of the bad cells and, and then reproducing these new cells so that your body kind of gets washed out of these uh, bad cells and that's basically what the autophagy process is but you can still do that while gaining muscle just make sure that you're at a caloric surplus every time you break your fast thank you for that and the final question comes from Shalina Musa and she asks I am doing 16 8 and doing weights moderate four to five days a week does anyone have tips in transitioning to OMAD yes I have tips that I can tell you about transitioning to OMAD one thing that you can do that I've noticed when it comes to uh, people who do the 16 8 the 16 8 is the gateway the 16 8 is good you can still you can stay there if you want you don't have to move to OMAD but if you want to move to OMAD uh, the fact that you did the 16 8 is really really good you can gradually move up by going from 16 8 to 18 6 and then 24 and then doing the OMAD or you could for example move your move your window further down with the 16 8 and then when you do that for a good amount of time where you basically wake up in the morning and it takes a longer period of time for you to get in to your feeding window uh, so you can actually feel it physically feel it and it isn't um and you're not like just unconscious when you're sleeping uh then you can move up the window but then transition it to being omad so you'll wake up and it's closer to your feeding time but in this instance you'll only be able to eat once it tends to be easier if you do it that way but the best thing if you're worried about it is to gradually move up into OMAD as opposed to just shooting from 16.8 directly to OMAD. Okay guys, so I hope that this answered your question and answered a lot of other people's questions out there. So if you guys had these type of questions, I hope this video helped. And now I have to go to sleep because I have to wake up in a few hours to get on the plane. I will literally be editing this on the plane and when I get to my hotel room, because like I said, I'm never gonna leave you guys hanging. I'm always gonna make sure that I give you guys value every Sunday and every Wednesday. And I wanna thank my patrons from my Patreon and I'm gonna put their names right up here.